Hello and welcome to Software2C from Festo. In this video you will see how you can update the firmware of one or several devices in Festo Automation Suite. The firmware update function can be found in the device scan section. And as for all functions there, you don't need to install any plugin to use it. The process is quite straightforward. Select the device you want to update and then go to the firmware action in the right sidebar. Provided that you have access to the internet, you'll see all available firmware versions for this device. Select the version you want to use and start the transfer. The file is now first downloaded from the internet and stored in a local repository, such that you have it available in the future even if you don't have internet access. In the next step, it is transferred to the device. Starting with version 2.3 of Festo Automation Suite, the progress and the status of the update is shown in the firmware column. And while it is active, you can already select another device and start another transfer. In most cases, the second transfer does not start immediately, but is kept in a pending state until it is technically possible to proceed. Once a transfer has been completed, the system shows a notification and waits until all processes have been finished. After that, the network is rescanned and the firmware column is updated according to the firmware versions which are now active on the devices. If you need to update several devices of the same type, first select them all by holding down either the Shift key or the Control key while clicking. Then choose the firmware and start the process. For some device types, a parallel transfer is supported up to a certain number of devices. For others, the transfer is executed one by one. If you want to add or remove firmware files to and from the local repository, you can do so via Backstage, Repositories, Firmware. The icon next to a device family or type indicates whether the repository is up to date or firmware versions are available that you haven't downloaded yet from the internet. Download individual firmware files or all files for a certain device type, a whole family, or all devices. Depending on your internet connection, this might of course take a while. You can also get yourself notified if a new firmware version is available for a device family or a specific device type. For certain device types, firmware files can also be imported from the local file system. As for plugins and extensions, release notes can be displayed via a link next to the version number. This was a video about how you can update the firmware of devices. If you like the videos, please subscribe to our channel and keep yourself informed. Bye bye, see you next time.